Hello there everyone, this is Sister Aunt greeting you all in this lovely day. It is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. As we all know, yesterday is the start of this Holy Week and today is Holy Monday and I w would like to share with you what is this Holy Monday all about. Jesus cleansing the temple. Let me read to you. John 2, chapter 13 to 22. And the Passover of the Jews was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And he found the temple those who were selling oxen and sheep and doves, and the money changer seated. And he made a scourge of cords and drove them all out of the temple with the sheep and the oxen. He poured out the coins of the money changer and overturned their tables. And to those who were selling the doves, he said, Take these things away. Stop making my father's house a house of merchandise. His disciples remember that it was written, Zeal for thy house will consume me. The Jews therefore answered and said to him, What sign do you show to us, seeing that you do these things. Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and three days I will raise it up. The Jews therefore said, It took forty-six years to build this temple, and you will raise it up in three days. But he was speaking of that temple of his body. When therefore he was raised from the dead, his disciples remember that he said this, and they believe the scripture and the word which Jesus had spoken. This is the word of the Lord. In Jesus' cleansing of the temple, we see such an appropriate moment of emotional expression. It is a demonstration of immense anger and outrage aimed at the blatant injustice and corruption going on in a place where it is least expected which is the temple. Jerusalem, the faithful city, she that was full of justice, has become a harlot. Without this involving into a study of Greek, which I'm sure none of us wants, let me just say that there are in Greek four different words for anger. Three of them refer more to egocentric anger, the kind of anger that tends to erupt in people when their egocentric attitudes and differences are challenged and exposed. Anger like this often seeks to destroy in all sorts of ways and has the capacity to become ext extremely dangerous and destructive. You know, it's interesting to note that uh, when the New Testament describes Jesus' anger, a fourth word is used, org, O-R-G-E, which means literally the settled purpose of anger or wrath. It means an anger with a high level of consciousness behind it. It's controlled, constructive, and purposeful in its engagement. It has the capacity to change and change situations with a positive energy. A lovely example of this word is found in Mark 3 verse 5 where Jesus knows that because it is the Sabbath, the people will accuse him if he heals the man with the withered hand. So this is what Jesus said. He looked around at them in anger and deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts, said to the man, stretch out your hand. This kind of anger is a healthy response to an intolerable situation. It serves a divine purpose because it flows not out of inner egocentric structures but out of the inner person transformed and nurtured into a greater consciousness through love by the divine spirit. It protects the innocent and weak and seeks to overwhelm that which is destructive and unjust. This is the kind of anger we see Jesus expressing in the cleansing of the temple. 
and in following him with two will and should feel it and act upon it i know it looks like it's it's contrary to the other words of god that we should not get angry but as i have explained to you there are different kinds of anger perhaps now we are in a better position to understand what what paul also meant in ephesians 4:26 when he said in your anger do not sin so my dear friends be ready to express your anger it will be needed but be vigilant and always watch how you do it he also said here in verse 4 uh, Ephesians 4:26 Do not let the sun go down on your anger. In other words, even if we get angry, but you know, at the end of the day, we should forgive and forget. Thank you very much for listening. Tomorrow I will explain to you the meaning of Holy Tuesday. This again, your host Sister Aunt Ronis till the next lovely day